Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Sefer Brew. Uh, just got a quick one to show you today. I've done a small installation in my wife's uh, shop. Um, and I just want to give you a quick run through. I bought all the equipment from Brew Cake Tap. It's a two cake system. I've only put connected one cake up so far um, with a two tap tower. So I'll just show you how I've done it. So what we've got here is we've got the tower system, which is stainless steel, two intertap taps, um, this one is connected at the moment, but the, the keg is quite um, heavily pressurized. I'm just carving up the Prosecco that's in there. Um, so we've got a hole straight through the countertop. Uh, this comes up and you'll see there's four screws in there. You look under here and you will see the pipes go straight through there. I'm going to insulate those a little bit and then they come straight into the fridge proper. I'm not quite sure on the length that I needed, but there the pipes come through and I've kept quite a bit of length for now. There's the one keg. Um, I think these kegs are the shorter, fatter ones and I had this measured, the size of this fridge, with um, my home kegs, which are the taller, thinner ones. So, unfortunate, but so the, 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 the kit comes with a Kegland Mark IV um, regulator. I've literally done a push-on here with the grey pipe onto the onto the push-on fitting. Push into a John Guest fitting here. Some plumbing tape on. Gas in. Black beer out or booze out. John Guest fitting. John Guest fitting. And then this I think is 5 sixteenths or probably 3 eighths. That goes up. So I've got the other one is just sitting to the side now waiting. But that is a very easy way of setting up. I got this fridge for free. And uh, so now she can give away, as part of her services, uh, you know, just a free glass of Prosecco. The other tap, I'm going to um, just get some just bottled water from Tesco or wherever and carve that up, and it'll just be fizzy water. So once I've figured out how to get them to fit, that is. Um, I'll show you behind the taps as well, just so you can see. So basically, this unit here comes with these on, and you can see there's a 90 degree elbow there. And so the pipes literally push onto the back of the elbow there, um, and then I've crimped them just for safekeeping, but I don't normally, on my home setup, crimp anything. Um, the two pipes that have come up, I tied them together with a bit of electrical tape so that I don't, if these fell down while I was fitting, um, I didn't lose them. Because you have to put them on this side of the pipe, push the pipe through the hole, and then push it onto the elbow before you fit the elbow back into here. Um, get this nice and secure, put the taps on, the taps come on with these turn-ons here, um, and uh, that's pretty much it guys. So, if you're looking at getting a little system you can see this is just a little, if I show you, that's just a little kitchen cupboard unit that uh, has been fitted here. And you could do that in a kitchen quite easily. Just put the fridge under there, an under counter fridge, keg in there, this on top. It looks nice and clean and people come around, they quite enjoy having some beer on tap. So hope you enjoyed that guys. And Go to look at uh, Brew Cake Tap, they've got quite a few different setups and, and choices. There's flow control and all sorts with the taps. Um, yeah, I hope you found that useful. Cheers.